So I should have landed right on this pass. And I was going to make one more to final. And I just didn't have what I needed. And it's stalled out. So we were looking at... Okay, there's more to this video, but I realized I needed to record a second intro. So this is on this video we're about to see is on my live channel. I took off and landed this, which I was not prepared to do. And then we go out another day and do actual FBV flying. And then disaster strikes. So that's the setup for this video. So let's get into it. Here we go. That's coming. Are you ready? Are you coming? Are you ready? Yeah, I wasn't going to fly today, but I think it's capable, so I'm just going to go for it. Okay. One loop and landing. Here we go. I succeeded! I did not want to fly this today, so I'm so happy I just did it. Send it! Oh, there's my wife and Russ. Look, brother, sister. Wow. Right there. I'm making a video. I'm setting up the video with, I tried to fly the jet today, and I was really excited. There was a lot of people around. But you were nervous. And I was going to fly to 4,000 milliamp hours, and I think I did exactly that, and then I ran out of power on final. Huh? What? Oh, this is some old thing I I don't even know. I have. I put a huge battery in this thing. Different ones, you know. But and I've got those. Tell them when I used to do this in the desert. I didn't. I didn't have range with this. Yeah, yeah. That's the difference too. Yeah, yeah. I want to look forward to it. Like Coming out left or right? That's a little funny. Isn't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> that's a real really deal, man. It, that's pretty cool. And it can move along, too. <laughs> Someone remind me to put my gear up and down. Yeah, that's wrong. So I keep forgetting. I got to bring my goggles. I, got, I guess I could sit here in my car and watch you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll be warm. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah, that's, that's too cool. That's awesome. Oh. All right. I never had Copy that. Taking off left or right. How's it look, Mel? Taking to right left. Does it look good on there? I'm going to put my goggles on. Oh, okay. See the runway. Oh, it's shaking a little bit. Oh, what was that? Okay, so... It says we're at 100... Why am I in clon what's cl what's a hundred kilometers per hour, Mike? I'm at a hundred kilometers a mile an hour. I'm full throttle. I think I'm gonna come down the runway. Is anyone out of the? Is everyone out of the runway? I'm gonna do a low pass left or right. You landing? No. Oh shoot, my darn gear. Is my gear up or down? It's up. I just put it up though. Oh, I gained another 20 kilometers per hour. 
24. Very cool, isn't it? <laughs> that is yeah. yeah, I'm just saying, it's an old school monitor like that you get. And this one has the, you know, uh, full sunlight and all that stuff like that. That's 63 amps right there. I'm going to try to go slower and see what I can get. That's 83 kilometers an hour. 85, 86, 90. Oh, but we had to, it's analog. Those are, they're analogs, you know. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I don't know if I'm going slow or what. I'm going, I'm only at 75. The bottom, the bottom center is airspeed and the bottom right is ground speed, like in the center. Your altitude is on the right. Uh, altitude is on the right, 110 meters. I'm a little, little high, but I wanted to see how slow it can go without stalling. So, so there's 70% throttle, and it seems like it's flying just fine. Drop it down even more. There's 60% throttle. Am I? Well, it's still going pretty fast. Anyone on the runway? Uh, no, well, yes. right, I'm, I'm going to stay high, but I'm going to come down the runway. How does that speed look? Because it looks so slow. It says 90 kilometers an hour, but I'm only at 60% throttle. It's only 30 amps right there. I, I see it flying a little bit faster than what the S4 was. Oh, okay. I feel slow to me, but all right. Anyone on the runway? I'm going to do a left right pass. Alright, I'm going to land. Landing left to right. Before my darn battery dies. Where am I at? I'm out there. The battery's gonna die. My son just sent me a message says in New York we got a Yes, it's dead. Battery. Fly it till I run out! You're having too much fun. I was. in a bit. And I thought I'd set up this to tell me whether the gear is up or down, because that's what I was fighting on the final. It doesn't say anything. So I, I swear down was down and up was up. So up is up, down is down. Opposite. Look, no, it's right. Down is down. Okay. Up is up. Gear up, it's upside down. Oh. <laughs> yeah, three. Oh, anyway, so the cool thing is, is um, I fired this thing back up. Let me get this turned around so I can see what I'm doing, and uh, everything works. So servos work, flaps work, rudder works, all the gear. Thank goodness the gear was up when it landed, because it it's flat landed, pancaked on this thing. This kind of like broke away a little bit. The wing is obviously broken off over here, as you can see. But um, but that's it. So five minute epoxy, ten minutes later, we're back in the air, baby. <laughs> it did. It is, isn't it? I want to look at the if the SD card uh, recorded all the data, because you'll see it just. Pfft, it's gonna be funny. So I'm gonna pull that off and look. But anyway, there's your update. So setting up for failure. I was going for 4,000 milliamp hour. I'm using used batteries, and I ran out of power. 
She went wee all the way to the ground. <laughs> and I took my goggles off and was flying at line of sight. If I'd have left, because I wanted to check the gear. If I'd have left the goggles on, I probably could have glided it, glided it, it? Glide. could have glided it down. Glided it. Down. That's what I said. Glided it. <laughs> glided it. Glided it down. So anyway, all the fins are on. I haven't spun these up yet. I got to clean them out. But all the all the blade blades are on the motors and uh, and we're good. So hello, Riley. Hi. Hi. So, I'll show you the uh, the data log and put it in this video, but yeah, that was a disaster. Um, it was all my own fault, so no big deal. <laughs> Bye! Well, I'm reviewing the data, and as you can see, I should have landed on this pass. I'm at three, I'm at, I'm over my limit. So, I should have landed right on this pass, and I was going to make one more to final, and I just didn't have what I needed. And it's stalled out so we we're looking at the data on here and you can see all kinds of good data in my flight path it's a lot of fun whoops but uh yeah i i spiraled it into the dra into the dirt down here at the end so my battery voltage just dropped like a rock and uh yeah smoked the ground not an ideal situation but that's what you get when you're out there experimenting and doing new things. In the dirt, man. And by the way, it stalled out there at the end and totally crashed. I couldn't make it back to the runway. I hit the ground at 30 mile an hour. And surprisingly, it did almost no damage. Thankfully, the gear was up because that would have been bad. Reviewing the footage. So I wanted to show you something. So this channel right here is my gear. Now on my radio... I have a slider on the side, and I usually set it up so it talks to me, gear up, gear down. I either didn't set it or it didn't work. i got to double check that. But I, I made my final pass at high speed. I'll play this. So I made my final pass at high speed right down the runway, and then I thought to myself, I better put the gear down, and low is down, high is up in the channel settings. So check this out. So I put the gear right there right well right there i put the gear down and it went and the gear was down and then i'm like oh it didn't talk to me i better flip it back up so i flipped it the other direction and i went and then right after that it smoked the ground if i'd have left the gear down we'd had a much better mess i should say a much worse mess so i i got lucky right here real 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 lucky thank goodness so me and, me and Russ here were just discussing. Yes, Russ. Yep. Um, we were discussing what we learned today, and we learned that jets don't fly without power. Oh, <laughs> so, so basically, we need more power. Mm -hmm. um, I guess that's it. I hope you guys have a good day. God bless. Have a, a wonderful uh, whatever it is you're doing, and uh, thanks for watching. Remember that clock? All right. Peace out. Bye bye. All right, for those of you interested, this is running Arju Pilot. It does have a GPS in the top. It lives right there. Uh, you can barely see it. It's on the top side, of course. And I have an Omnius F4 board in here, a version 3. I think that's how you say it. I've got a current sense meter in my power wires. I've got a 5.5-volt, 5-amp BEC. Um... 240 amp ESCs that were for this original jet. And here I have my long tether, which I probably should shorten, that connects to my camera, which is actually on the tail, so I get this super crazy shot on the back. So anyway, just kind of wanted to show you what was actually in here. There's a little power brick that feeds this, and I modified this to read the current and voltage um, directly from the current sense, because the onboard current sense is supplied by the incoming power, and I'm supplying this with actually 12 volt with a little DC-DC converter that sits right here. The VTX is actually in there, and the antenna is on the side here, hanging out the bottom. Good good coverage that way. And I have a um, crossfire antenna taped onto the bottom side here, and the receiver is buried in there. So there is a ton of wires in there that you cannot see for all the stuff. But anyway, 
just wanted to show you that. Let me uh, get the bottom back on, flip it back over and show you what the view looks like. So there's the bottom cover on. I put a hole in here so I can get to the uh, flight controller and get the data off because I don't have a telemetry radio because I have Crossfire connected. So when I want to get off data logs and stuff, I cannot. Um, just for reference, I have little straws sticking through here. I'll show you on the top side and the bottom side. I just tied the uh, tied the same straws with knots on them so it can't pull it through the foam. And they're just going to hang out there. They're totally fine. On the other strings, I've actually got them tied inside of here. And yes, these are still fastened just fine. But um, yeah, that's how this thing's hanging on. I'll show you when I get it flipped over. Okay, so here's the GPS. I put a hole in the top, put a piece of tape over so it's pretty aerodynamic. Got my little air intake in here. I think that's funny. This is a pretty cool model. It's even got the hooks on here and everything. I've got a 5,000 milliamp hour 6S. In order to get that in there, I did have to carve this thing out. So could not get a 3,000 milliamp hour. I really wanted a bigger battery because I have a bunch of these. I do not have the smaller ones. So we're going to use those. 5,000 milliamp hour 6S. And here is the camera attached to the back. And it is pretty strong. So you can see there's a little vibration in there, but it's probably not enough to worry too much about. And yes, it's pretty well completely just taped on there. Might need to tighten a string or two. And here's the view you get. Yeah. The quality is a bit funny on there. But um, let's see if we can see what it looks like. I would put the canopy on, but I don't have it on there right now. Oh, dude, yes. That's going to look cool. So, anyway, I would consider that a third-person view. Instead of first-person view, it's a third-person view jet. So, that should be pretty sweet. So, yeah, that's the setup. And uh, I have a 180 millimeter lens on this thing, or sorry, 180, uh, 180 degree angle lens on this thing. I uh, need to put that on there, but yeah, dude, that's gonna look pretty sweet. This sense, some of you are asking questions. So yes, Arjo Pilot with Crossfire, GPS, camera, current sensing, the works in uh, in an EDF jet can't see the current sensor, but it's a modified current sensor in there. All right, peace out. What a hilarious looking contraption, though. But man, dude, like, the view that that's going to give me in real-time flight. It's going to be awesome. Well, it wouldn't be a complete video if I didn't show you the fact that it's repaired and ready to fly. This is the wing that was broke off. Little epoxy on the uh, points. I actually took a piece of wood. Stuck it inside the carbon fiber rod and epoxied the whole inside of that together because the carbon fiber rod was cracked but not broke. So I just gave it a little extra strength. Um, I'm going to put one piece of tape over this and be, be, uh, make the surface flat again because it's, it's a little chopped up. That's not very aerodynamic, is it? The camera's stable and back in place. Um, to give you a very quick overview, because I apparently didn't mention it, mention it. So my buddy Saul, thanks to Saul... He actually um, purchased this brand new and crashed it um, and repaired it and then I believe crashed it again and then the second time this whole front was really messed up. It was off completely broke, snapped. That's why you can see the bottom's really torn up. I'm missing the pedo tube. I have to make one. So I put it back together. See the nose is a little crooked. <laughs> I put this back together specifically to do what I'm doing with it. And uh, so I just want to say, say thanks to my friends over there at the fly field who give me things to repair and put back together because I can't afford to buy this. But I can afford to glue it back together and make it fly with Ardru Pilot with a crazy FPV camera angle. So anyway, peace and love, God bless. Just want to give you the backstory on that. My thankfulness towards people and also um, the fact that this thing's already been through two crashes and now I crashed it a third time that's actually a really good airplane considering 
the gear was really messed up. Uh, this part was really bent up, and this thing was really bent up, and some other things were really bent up whenever Saul crashed it originally. So I had to bend all that straight and get it working again. Uh, it's not perfect, but it does it does the job. So yeah, that's all I got to say. Uh, hopefully you guys watched this whole video and you enjoyed it. I don't know what else to say. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.